Did you know that vitamin K2 helps to improve our bone quality? It does. Vitamin K2 helps our bones to become more resilient and less prone to fracture, even without significant changes to our bone mineral density. But it also helps our bones to become more dense too. In today's video, we'll discuss what to look at when considering whether to supplement vitamin K. Hi, I'm Sarah and I'm a nutritional health coach through the Institute for Integrative Nutrition. I'm also a 500 hour trained yoga teacher with additional training that's specific to osteoporosis and yoga. I'm also a BoneFit certified fitness instructor. I'm on a mission to reduce the number of osteoporotic fractures that happen each year. And I'm glad to have you with me on the journey to better bone health. There are two types of vitamin K, vitamin K1 and two. Vitamin K1 is found in lots of vegetables, including broccoli, dark leafy greens, soybeans, and pumpkin. But for the purposes of bone health, it's primarily vitamin K2 that we're interested in. Vitamin K2 is helpful for getting calcium into our bones where it should be. It also helps to reduce calcification in the arteries, which is important to be aware of if you choose to supplement calcium, because it can help to mitigate the effects of calcium supplements contributing to art artery calcification. Vitamin K2 is also involved in the coagulation process or blood clotting in our bodies. This means that taking a vitamin K2 supplement could potentially interfere with taking blood thinner medication. So if you take a blood thinner, it's really important to ask the pharmacist or your doctor if it's okay to take vitamin K2. Some blood thinners are okay to take with vitamin K2 and others are not. So it's always better to check and make sure for safety's sake. So how does vitamin K help to improve both our bone density and our bone strength? Vitamin K activates a protein made by our bone building cells that binds to calcium. And then it helps the calcium become part of our bone matrix in a really effective way. This is how vitamin K2 helps to reduce the calcification in our arteries. It's because it's actively helping the calcium get into our bones and to integrate itself into our bones in a really elegant and efficient way. Vitamin K2 helps our bones to become stronger. The daily recommended amount for taking vitamin K is somewhere between 90 micrograms and 120 micrograms. Vitamin K is a fat soluble vitamin, so it is also stored in our bodies. It actually works well with vitamin D, so if you can find a supplement that has the amounts that you need of both vitamins, then this is one that combines well. There are different forms of vitamin K2 that are available for supplementation. These are the MK4 and the MK7 form. Both are good choices, but it may actually be better to take the MK7 form because it has a longer half-life, which means that it will last longer in your body. If you found this video helpful, please share it with someone that you know and love. And also, if you'd like to have a more in-depth look at nutrition for better bone health, I'll be hosting a live six week nutrition workshop where I'll teach how to create your own optimal bone healthy diet and supplement plan. If this interests you, there's more information about the workshop in the video description. And on that note, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.